Hey everyone, it's Lexi. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a spoiler-free review of Black Dove White Wave, <laughs> Black Dove White Raven by Elizabeth Wine. As you don't know, Codename Verity by Elizabeth Wine is by far one of my all-time favorite books ever. Probably within my top five, like hands down. Elizabeth Wine is known for writing books with strong friendships that kind of have no like they kind of are very different from what we typically see in YA. They really, really captures you. And I don't know, so I was really excited going into it, just how much I loved Coding Verity and Rose Under Fire, just of how impactful I found them to be. So I had high expectations going into this book to begin with, but I was actually kind of sad to realize that this book didn't live up really to that like standard or potential that I know that Elizabeth Wine has. So this story is told from two perspectives, Amelia and Theo, and their moms were called the Black Dove and White Raven, and they were essentially kind of a duo that would do like stunts on the plane. So one of them would fly the plane, the other one would do like get up and dance around on the wings or whatever, like those things, or do like the aerial shows um, during the 1920s. And during a bird strike, their plane comes crashing down and Theo's mom dies. Um, I guess one of the wishes that Delia, Theo's mom, had was to go to Ethiopia, where her husband was from who died when they were in France learning to fly and she wanted to go there especially because she didn't want her son to be this is during the 1920s so she didn't want her son to be like have there to be prejudice and racism going there where the color of his skin wouldn't matter so then Amelia and Theo and their mom all go to Ethiopia and while they're there um, Amelia's father is also in the Italian military that's kind of around there so she kind of gets to be there see her father there as well but while this is all happening they kind of this is kind of the events leading up to World War II and Mussolini is wanting to kind of take over Ethiopia and all this other political stuff is going on so I've what I really liked about this book was that it kind of shed light on kind of like um, what Mussolini was doing in uh, Ethiopia and just the Ethiopian culture because it was something I've never really learned about and I looked further into like this kind of um, this part of history because I never learned it in school and it is really interesting and I think it's weird how they kind of just completely ignore this when they teach world history because I feel like it is relevant to the events leading up to World War II. So I really enjoyed that aspect and reading from the Ethiopian culture. Um, yeah, like I said, it was really interesting. However, like there are some parts where I was just like, I don't know, like that society is a little bit, has like some weird things to it as well. Like girls are the only ones who are allowed to make coffee which I thought was really strange but okay but while they're there they kind of enter the crisis where Theo um, as he's getting older they say he's old enough to carry a spear so he's old enough to fight in this war and um, Amelia's mom's like no he's not fighting in this war um, so she ends up teaching him how to fly the plane and that leads to a, ho a whole lot of other things but I was really really disappointed with this book I would give it a two out of five stars the only two parts was it because it did shed light on that kind of unknown history I thought it did a good job representing the Ethiopian culture however I wasn't attached to any of the characters the friendship between Amelia and Theo it's pretty much we don't really get to see it in like a really big sense it's basically non-existing we don't really get to see that friendship blossom and I don't know like none of the characters were really interesting I didn't really care what was happening in this book and I think that's really sad because like usually I'm so attached to like all her other books and her characters and the storylines and what's gonna happen to them in this part it was just like I don't care so I don't know like it was just really weird I felt like Theo his goal in life is to be invisible so you can see how he's just I don't know I found him to be really annoying and just like having that goal to be invisible I felt like he was just there and not really doing anything and then Amelia is a bit of a spitfire which was kind of nice to read about but she She's like 16 years old and she's writing and saying I had a tantrum or I stomped off and it was just like that's a little bit immature I think. Um, I know and then also their mother um, I don't know I found like she knew all this stuff was happening and she didn't get out and she was just kind of like oh nothing's gonna happen that's bad or whatever and it was just like you could have gotten out when you knew that there's stuff stirring around 
but you didn't <laughs> it was just like I don't know I wanted to give her one big like gib slap and it was just like I don't know it was really irritating I think if you're interested in going and reading Elizabeth Wine I would highly recommend you start out with Codename Verity I think this is her best of her publications I would maybe skip on this one it was disappointing I didn't like it as much if you are interested in learning about kind of like what was going on the political stuff going on I think this is good but I wasn't the storyline is just really really I don't know like they don't even end up going to Ethiopia until like 100 pages in and then they're just like writing about being on the farm and like all this stuff I don't know it was just like really really boring and I don't know um yeah let me know if you've read this what you thought about it because I've had really mixed feelings and I was reading the review for Goodreads and most of them are pretty positive but like I know a couple people were feeling what I'm thinking so that's at least good so I'm not the only one but let me know if you've read this and what you thought about it. So yeah don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys!